How Hackers Jack ATMs Remotely Japanese cybersecurity firm Trend Micro has published a white paper detailing how hackers can remotely control ATMs. First, cybercriminals target banking staff with phishing emails. If a worker accesses the email, this allows the hacker to steal their identity. The hacker then uses these stolen digital credentials to enter the banking network where they begin to comb it for data on their target. This is known as lateral movement. The hack is commonly seen in places where banks' main networks and ATM networks are not separated. Once said data is acquired, the hacker gains access to ATMs. They then order machines to dispense so-called jackpot amounts of cash to standby mules waiting to collect. Hackers using this technique have kept away from ATMs in the U.S. and Canada, but Trend Micro expects the threat to become stronger in the future. Stick around for more ATM stories. Man trapped in ATM gets withdrawn by cops. A Texas contractor found himself held captive by a cash machine and had to go old school to get out. The worker was changing the locks for the ATM vestibule when he was locked in because he left his swipe card in the truck. Poor fella also left his phone so he couldn't call for help. But the ATM was working just fine and what he did have was a pen and paper. He resorted to slipping notes through the receipt slot, begging people to please help. I'm stuck in here and I don't have my phone. Please call my boss. Unfortunately for him, everyone who got the note thought it was a bizarre joke, and the poor man was stuck for two hours until someone took it seriously enough to call the cops. Even the cops didn't think it was for real, even after they heard a little voice coming from the machine. Still, they eventually came to the man's rescue, kicking down the door to finally get him out. <laughs> Now there's a man who's never been so happy to get away from a cash machine. <laughs> Crazy! Spray gel could cover ATM thieves with evidence for five years. This is what crooks could look like next time they try and decide to swipe money from ATMs in England. The co-op, a British supermarket, has outfitted ATMs in 2,500 stores with a traceable spray gel to deter would-be criminals. When someone tries to break into an ATM, their clothes and face are sprayed with a gel. Each sprayer has its own forensic identifier, and only a speck of this is needed from the suspect to match it to the ATM. The gel is visible under an ultraviolet black light. Developer company Smart Water say the gel can be traced up to five years after being sprayed. The technology reportedly reduced ATM theft by up to 90% in test areas in 2016. Talk about forking over the cash. Recently revealed CCTV footage shows how someone or multiple someones in Arkansas decided to put their forklift skills to bad use by using it to steal an ATM. According to the police, the incident took place around 3 a.m. last Wednesday at the First Service Bank's drive through lane in Conway, Arkansas. One brazen thief was captured driving a giant forklift right up to the machine and picking it up before proceeding to cause some damage while backing the forklift out. The ATM was supposedly then loaded onto a truck before the culprit or culprits fled the scene. The robbery was discovered by a bank employee the next morning who noticed the damage in the driveway. Whoever took the ATM got away with an undisclosed amount of money. As the footage doesn't clearly show who the suspect or suspects were, Conway police are now asking people to help if they recognize the truck or were in the area when the crime took place. Using construction equipment for robbery isn't anything new, though. Just yesterday, some criminals in Florida also used an industrial-sized forklift to make off with an ATM from Bank of America. Here's how not to get digitally pickpocketed. Police in Des Plaines, Illinois, recently reported that a Walgreens ATM was fitted with devices meant to steal people's banking information. These skimming devices have been spotted at ATMs and even in gas pumps across the U.S. But how to avoid them? ATM skimmers are card readers fitted over the machine's card slot that copy personal data from the card's magnetic strip. The user's PIN is captured using either a pinhole camera hidden on the ATM or captured by a fake keyboard placed over the real one. The first step to spotting a skimmer is to check for signs of tampering. Be wary of differences between machines that are side by side. For example, if one has a flashing indicator and the other does not. Push and pull at any protruding parts to see if they are securely attached and have only one piece. Skimmers can only read the magnetic strip if the card is inserted in a single straight motion, so experts suggest wiggling the card as it goes in to foil the skimmer. When using credit cards, avoid transactions that necessitate swiping the mag strip. 
Instead, use EMV chip readers and NFC or tap to pay, which are more secure and harder to hack. If you do realize your card has been skimmed or notice any suspicious activity on your account, alert your bank. You can still get your money back as long as the theft is reported immediately.